This is the best Japanese supermarket in Los Angeles. And in this video, I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna turn the camera out so you can see what I can see. This is the Mitsuba Marketplace in Torrance in the Del Amo Shopping Center. We're gonna first take a look at the food court and then we're gonna take a look at the supermarket side. Why the food court? Because the food court here is really amazing. So there's some packaged foods here, just like you'd see in Japan. We can get some karage for $12. This is Japanese fried chicken, or perhaps take home some mackerel. There are Japanese sweets. This stall specializes in mochi cream, which are essentially uh, rice candies, green tea, mango, strawberry shortcake. If you like ramen, then you will love this stall. Ramen Santoka, they have amazing bowls of ramen. One of my favorite stalls here is Yamari that has amazing green tea matcha desserts. They're not cheap. They're gonna cost you $6 for the small, $10 for the big one. They got great drinks too. Another noodle spot, Udon here, where they got uh, big bowls of Japanese udon noodle soup, and then you can get fried tempura right here to go in your bowl. Also kind of neat, there's a big seating area and an outdoor seating area there too. All right, coming around the corner, we've got Misasa that specializes in uh, curry and other Japanese foods. Their screens look off, so I don't know if they're closed today. Sutandanya, they specialize in meat bowls, chicken bowls, pork bowls, lots of delicious food in bowls. And you pick your style of bowl, your type of rice, your main meal, you add toppings, and then you get something pretty delicious. On this corner, we've got something not Japanese, but still tasty. Okay dog, these are Korean hot dogs. Korean hot dogs on a stick, just like hot dog on a stick. Oh, and they've got the classic spicy rice cake, Tapoki, a Korean classic. Over here, we've got uh, Mo Chill Donuts and Coffee, which uh, looks also to serve Hawaiian style coffee. We can go take a closer look at these donuts. This used to be Mochi Nut, which uh, they made and they still do donuts made of rice essentially. So they're kind of um, crispy and chewy, but they've got uh, malasadas down here as well, uh, filled with Nutella, matcha, and strawberry. This is the branch of Kinokuniya Bookstore, a Japanese bookstore that also has lots of just cool Japanese anime products, um, stuffed animals, stationery. This is a pretty neat store to go and explore. All right, we can see the supermarket section right here that we're gonna go into in a second. They've got a bunch of seats that you can sit on here next to the Shiseido counter, I guess, if you're waiting for some friends. Uh, here is Kitty Ton, where they've got all these little uh, Japanese crane games that you can, you know, try to win stuffed animals. My daughter has yet to win anything on there, even though we've tried. And now we're back at that karage booth uh, that also has some more plated bentos that you can take home. The yellowtail bento, $21. The teriyaki bento, katsu bento, all delicious bentos. And you know, they love their maps in Japan. And so here we've got a whole map of uh, the Mitsua here in Torrance. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna go uh, this way through the little festival they have here. They often have different festivals for different uh, times of year. It appears this is a um, dishware festival and also a premium rice festival. Uh, Fukushima premium rice they have in the center and they're also giving out samples of the Fukushima premium rice. This bakery, amazingly delicious. Hamada ya! They have tons of Japanese white bread and what I really like, these strawberry shortcake cups and these mango cups. They've also got strawberry shortcake just as a cake, but you know what, in a cup, it just stays better for longer, really. All right, one of the things that I love about Mitsua, and this location is no exception, is that they have an ice machine. Um, it's broken right now, but this ice machine is free, and so if you've got like sushi or fish you're taking home, you can just get ice out of there, put it in the bag, and take it with you. If you want a cantaloupe but don't want to cut it, you can get a half cantaloupe, a half honeydew, 
uh, the a lot of the vegetables are singly wrapped Japanese style so you don't have to worry that other people have been touching it you can see inside of it to see how it looks you can get some cucumbers you can get some mushrooms uh, and many of the mushrooms are imported from Japan those were from the USA uh, we've got right you can see these are from Japan this uh, root right here and over this way we've got the sashimi section what Mitsua is known for and the fish here really quite delicious this little sashimi boat $28.99 the tuna, $6.90, big blocks of delicious looking salmon. We've got some boiled octopus down here and uh, we get some uh, premium, premium seafoods, some premium beef. They've got American Wagyu, $20 a pound. They'll often have Japanese Wagyu, which I don't know if they do today. They cut them into thin pieces for shabu shabu. The pork is really quite delicious. If you've never had uh, Japanese style pork, definitely check some of these out. And then over this way, they've got some chickens. All right, over this way, they've got all the frozen pot stickers, gyoza. And then in here, they have um, pudding from Japan. These little puddings right here are, uh, or cheese. This cheese is $9 right here. Uh, <laughs> this. This cheesecake right here is $99 for the fondue cheesecake. You know, when you fly it in from Japan, it is gonna cost you uh, quite a bit of money. Over this way, they've got um, chilled udon, ramen, natto, fish cakes, pickles, and miso soup. They've got dairy products here in this counter. The Japanese aren't super big on milk, so you won't find a ton of milk here. In the frozen section, I really like, they've got the frozen mochis here. Uh, I like the um, these fish shaped ice cream things and uh, like ice cream cones. That's like, it's already in the cone, just looks right like this uh, that you can get. So if you want an ice cream cone that's portable because it's got a top on it, you can pick that up for $2.69. All right, if you want some actual prepared sushi, not just sashimi, They've got these uh, premium sushis and they use rice from Japan, $32.99. We'll get you this little boat right here. Or maybe you want the tuna bowl for $22 right there. Uh, all of these, I've had them quite often and they are quite good. Uh, you can also get some cooked products to take home like they've got karage in here too. Or maybe you might wanna take some shrimp shumai or a pork bun home. Just microwave it and then it's pretty tasty. And they've also got some more prepared bentos in here in the supermarket section. Uh, ooh, they've got an eel bowl for $8, which is a pretty good deal for eel. Okay, let's go down the drink aisle. Um, but first, let's take a look at all the rice cookers. Wow, look at this selection of rice cookers. Zojirushi, the brand from Japan. The one we have, we like the tiger rice cookers and we have one that's, yeah, we paid, we paid about $400 for ours that was a made in Japan variety. As you can often get rice cookers here that you just can't get anywhere else. All right, so in the drink section, they've got lots of great uh, Japanese drinks also from Japan. By the way, if you're playing a drinking game, um, you know, count the number of times I say Japan in this video. I bet it's a lot. Uh, I like these yuzu kimono sparkling drinks right here. These are pretty tasty. They've got Japanese rice crackers uh, that my three-year-old daughter really likes, everything down that aisle. A uh, wide selection of sakes uh, that, you know, some of these $400 for a Robert Mondavi, I guess that's actually not a sake, but you can get the uh, $279 whiskey. Uh, this one for $629. There's a good reason they put them behind glass. The cheaper ones out here for $16. Uh, these are just in the open. And if we hang a right down, well, we'll hang around down the next aisle. Uh, this is uh, some smaller bags of rice if you don't want massive bags of rice. And then uh, what I also like to come here for is tea. I like Japanese style tea, and this is where you're gonna have the best selection, not just from Ito N, which is a major brand, but also uh, lots of other brands down the tea aisle. All right, well, fellow explorers, 
if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other videos from LA, San Diego, Orange County, California, and beyond. One of my favorite attractions in LA is the Santa Monica Pier. You can check a walking tour of that up right here. Or if you wanna see what a Korean supermarket looks like in Southern California, you can check my video out right here, a walking tour of H Mart in Irvine, California.